Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss all the previous year questions on ratio and proportion chapter which have come in CVT, PG, MBA past year papers. Let us first discuss the breakup of this chapter. So in 2022, on 5th September paper we didn't have any question. In 12th we had 4. So this percentage was very high. 2021 we had 1. There was again no question in 2020 and 2019 we had 2 questions. If you want to join our telegram group, so the link will be in description. You can find PDFs there, notification for video lectures, some quizzes. So this will be highly beneficial for you. If you want to join, you can always join. Okay, so let's discuss the first question. The ratio of a age of power to Richa is 9 is to 10. 10 years ago, this ratio was 4 is to 5. What is the percentage of Richa? So this question is from 12th September. So this is a very famous pattern of questions in ages, which is nothing but a application of ratio and proportion. So we have Pavan, let's say P for Pavan and R for Richa. So currently, let's say this is present. So in present the ratio is 9 is to 10. 10 years ago, so minus 10. Let us say present minus 10. We had ratio 4 is to 5. Now what is the percentage of Richa? So you want to find the value of this one. Now in the ages, there is a very important concept. So let's say there are two persons A and B. Let's say this person age is 5 years and this person age is 8 years. Okay. Let's say I move to 3 years in future. So this person age will be 8 and this will be 11. So if you notice here, in both the instances, we have 3 year difference, right? 3 year difference is here, 3 year difference is here. It means that the age difference is always constant. It's constant. So this is a very important tool to solve all the questions related to ages. So it is logical as well, right? Once two persons, we know the age of two persons. If we move any time ahead in the future or if we move any time back in the past, the difference is always going to be the same. So here, Pavan and Richa, the difference here 10 years ago and the difference in the present, both should be same, right? So here the difference is of one unit and here the difference is of one unit. So we don't need to worry about because both are same. Now next thing is, if you notice here, the difference here is 5 and the difference here is again 5. So we can say that 5 unit is equal to 10 years, right? So how many years would be 10 unit? So 10 unit would be equal to 10 into 2, 20 years. Option B. So I hope the concept of ages chapter is clear to you. This is a very important concept that age difference is always constant. So you can always use that. Now let us move on to the second question. Three numbers A, B, C are in the ratio 12, 15, 25 with the sum of these numbers is 3, 1, 2. The ratio of difference of B and A and to the difference of C and B each. So this again is 12 September. Now here many students, they will do a long method. This is not at all recommended. So let us discuss first the long method. So what they will do is A is to B is to C. And we have 12, 15, 25. And sum is 3, 1, 2. So if we add them up, 27, 52 units is equal to 312. So 1 unit is equal to 312 by 52. If you divide then you get 6. Now here they will assign this. So they will say that 12 into 6, this would be 72, this would be 90, this would be 150. And then we will find the ratio of difference B minus A is to C minus B. So B minus A would be 15 minus 12, 3. C minus B would be, oh sorry, not units, but these things, these values. So B minus A, 90 minus 70 to 18. C minus B, 150 minus 90, 60. If you cancel 3 is to 10. So you will get 3 is to 10. Now this is correct answer, but we don't have to do this, right? So let's say, if you notice here, can I say that these numbers are in 12K, 15K and 25K? Because we have a ratio, so let's choose a multiplier k, 
So we can say that these numbers is 12k, 15k, 25k. Now if I do the difference one, so we can say 15k, b minus a is 15k minus 12k and c minus a is 25k minus 15k. From here we will get 3k, here we will get 10k, k would get cancelled out, we will get 3 by 10 that is 3 to 10. So if you notice here k was cancelled, right? So once you know that the that your multiplier would get cancelled out, then you can directly do this. So what you can do is you can directly say that b minus a, you can you can manipulate ratios only. So you can say 15 minus 12 is my first ratio. 15 minus 12 is my first value, b minus a, and my second value is 25 minus 15. 25 minus 15. Sorry, okay, let us this is getting so 15 minus 12 is the first value b minus a and c minus b is c minus b is 25 minus 15 25 minus 15 so we get 3 is to 10 so you can directly get your answer using ratios only you don't have to do anything extra you can directly apply on ratios and why are we applying on why are we able to apply on the ratios because my multiplier is getting cancelled multiplier is getting cancelled so don't blindly apply this method in all the questions because in some questions you'll find that your multiplier is not going cancelled okay so you should be smart enough to quickly notice whether your multiplier will get cancelled out or not if you notice that multiply is being cancelled out, then you can directly apply on the ratios and you will get your answer. Okay. So you have both the methods were clear, but the first one is not at all recommended. You will lose some time here. And second one is very easy. You can directly apply on the ratio and you will get your answer first. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. The ratio between three angles of a quadrilateral 3 is to 4 is to 9. The value of fourth angle is 88 degree. What is the difference between largest and the smallest angle of quadrilateral? See, 3, 4, 9 and the fourth one is the value 88 degree and these are in the ratio now in the quadrilateral we know that the sum of all angles is 360 degree right so can i say that 3k plus let's say these angles are 3k 4k and 9k i have chosen a multiplier k so if i add them up 7k plus 9 16k plus 88 degree equal to 360 degree sum of all angles so 16k would be 360 minus 88 and that would be so if you subtract then you will get 2 and 7, 5 minus 8 7 and 272 right so 16k equal to 272 so therefore k would be 272 by 16 you will get 17 so 17 degree 17 degree but you find the difference between largest and the smallest angle so the difference between largest and the smallest angle is 6 unit, right? So, 6 unit would be equal to 17 degree into 6. That would be 102 degree A option. 102. Let us move on to the next question now. 12 September paper again. The second highest and the smallest angles of a triangle are in the ratio 6 to 5. The difference between them is 9 degree. What is the difference between the largest and smallest? So, 6 is to 5. And there is a larger angle, largest angle here. Okay, the ratio for which we don't know. The difference between them is nine degree. So this difference is given as nine degree. So can we say that the difference is one unit? So one unit is nine degree. What is the difference between the largest and the smallest angle? So we have largest, largest angle is this, and the smallest angle is this one. Okay. So one thing we can do here, we can get these values, right? We can get these values. So this would be 45 degrees. This would be 45 degree. This would be 54 degree. And we know that the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degree. So can we say that 54 plus 45 and let's say this angle is X. So equal to 180 degree. So from here we can we'll get therefore X equal to 180 minus so if you add them up then you will get 55 59 plus 40 99 degree so you will get 81 degree so this one would be 81 degree 
So what is the difference between the largest and the smallest angle? So we want the difference of largest and the smallest. So the difference is 40, 81 minus 45, 81 minus 45. Degree. So that is nothing but 36. D option, right? So I hope this question was clear to you. Once you know that one unit is equal to 9 degrees, then easily you can find these two values, right? And obviously then third value will be easily known. So let us move on to the next question. So this one is from 2021. The numbers are in the ratio 4 is to 5 is to 6 and their average 25, the largest number is. So we have 4 is to 5 is to 6. So can I say that my numbers are 4K, 5K, 6K? Let us assume there is a multiplier K. And the average of this is 25. Now this I have discussed earlier as well, that if you know that your numbers are in AP, so if you notice here the difference is K, the difference is again K, so these three numbers are in AP, we know that. Then your average is the middle term if the number of terms in the AP is odd. So here we have three terms, right? Three terms which is odd. So we can say that my average would be middle term, 5K. Otherwise you can also calculate if you add them up 4K plus 5K plus 6K by 3, that would be 9 plus 6, 15 by 3, 5K, right? So in that way also you will get 5K. So my 5K equal to, it is given as the average is 25. So therefore K will be equal to 5. So my multiplier is 5. So the largest number is 6, 6K. The largest number is 6K. So we'll get 6 into 5 equal to 30. That would be A. So option A. Next question, rupees 180 is to be divided among 66 men and women. The sum of men's share and women's share are in the ratio 5 to 4, but individual shares are in the ratio 3 to 2. The number of men is. So we are given 66 total men and women. The sum of men's share is 5 is to 4. So let's say 5 is to 4. So can we say that 5k, 5k and 4k? This is for men and women. And individual shares are in the ratio 3 is to 2. So let's say 3k dash and 2k dash. Because we will need different multipliers, right? We can't take the same multiplier. Now, what is the number of men? Okay. So this rupees 180 is redundant. We don't even need to worry about this one. So the ratio of men would be. So let's say these are the. These are the share of men and women and these are the this is total sum actually sum of share and this is individual share individual share so can we say that 3k dash into let's say the number is Let's say the number of men is x, okay. So 3k dash into x divided by 2k dash into 66 minus x. This would be women. This ratio is given as 5k dash, sorry, 5k by 4k. I can cancel this out, KK. This would also get cancelled out. So from here we got 3XY. Let us solve this into the next. It's 3X by 2 into 66 minus X. 3X into 3X divided by 2 into 66 minus X equal to 5 by 4. I simply have to solve this. So you will get 12X equal to 10 into 66 minus x so from here we'll get 12x equal to 660 minus 10x if you add them up then you will get 22x equal to 660 therefore x equal to 660 by 22 so you'll get 30 so there are 30 men because we assume that there are x men so basically the women would be 66 minus x and then be multiplied and we got our ratio okay so this was individual this was individual this was individual share if i multiply the number of men and women then i will get total share then i will equate then i can equate this to 
this is right so we got our answer as 30 minutes okay now let's move on to the next question this is from 2019 rupees 750 is to be divided among a b and c such that a share and b share are in the ratio 2 is to 3 b share and c share are in the ratio 6 is to 5 what is the share of it okay so we have a b and c a share and b share are in the ratio 2 is to 3 a is to b is 2 is to 3 and b and c b and c is 6 is to 5 so let's say if i write this here like this let's say i write let's say i write this way you to see this is 6 is to 5 now obviously b can't have two different values right so i will have to make them same so if i multiply this by 2 then i can make this 6 right so this i will get 4 is to 6 now i can match with this so i can rewrite this as 4 is to 6 is to 5 a is to b is to c this is my final recipe now what is the share of a in rupees 750 so obviously the ratio of share would be ratio of sorry share of a would be share of a would be 4 upon 4 plus 6 plus 5 that would be 15 into 750 so 15 into 50 15 into 4 200 so 200 means c option so this is our answer c option Okay, so we are done with all the questions. So there were, I think, total seven questions. Total seven questions we discussed from 2019 to 2020. We discussed all the questions on the ratio and proportion. Again, reminding you that if you want to join our Telegram group, then the, this link will be in the description. You can join. Okay, so thank you. Let's meet in some other videos. We will discuss more such questions. So I have already covered percentage, mixture and delegation average and today this video this video was on okay forward ratio and proportion ratio and proportion there will be more such chapter wise previous year questions on CUT PGMB and all of them are highly beneficial so watch them all watch all these videos so that you can get a hang of okay. so let's meet in some other videos thank you